Welcome back to Two Chord Camp Songs for Ukulele. My name is Emeran Taylor, and today we will be covering Who Did Swallow Jonah? Our opening note is an F, which is our first fret on the second string, and our opening chord is an F chord. Here we go. One, two, ready. Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow cho 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 cho? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow cho 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 cho? Who did, who did, who did, who did? Who did swallow Jo 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 Jo? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Down, 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 down. Whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled swallow Jo 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 Jo. Whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled swallow Jo 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 Jo. Whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled it, whaled swallow Jo 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 Jo. Whaled it, swallow Jonah. Whaled it, swallow Jonah. Whaled it, swallow Jonah. Down, down, down. Gabriel, 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 will you chum 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 chum? Gabriel, 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 will you chum 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 chum? Gabriel, 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 will you chum 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 chum? Gabriel, will you trumpet? Gabriel, will you trumpet? Gabriel, will you trumpet? Loud, 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 loud. Right. Okay. So you can just sort of stick an ending on there by going back to your home base chord, the F chord. Loud. Or you can add the additional verses, Daniel in the lion's den, uh, Noah in the arky, uh, uh, Peter walking on the sea. Um, and of course, you could make up your own verses for this one. Uh, just sort of a silly uh, Bible camp uh, song that uh, is a lot of fun to sing. Um, so as far as what I'm doing with uh, the technique, we just have uh, our F and C7 chords, of course still and we've got our chink up chink up chink up so the chink just to review you are putting the fleshy part of your palm down on the strings and you're flicking across the strings with your first finger and that's all you get when you do that if you if you get your finger there first you end up with staccatos and that's not what you want you just want that percussion sound okay okay and then we're just pairing that with an up so we're going up uh, we're going chink, up, chink, up, chink, up, chink, up. Now, why I like this better than chunk up, first of all, I'm not as good at chunks as I am uh, as, at the, as the chinks because I haven't practiced them much. And the reason is is because I find them to be a little clumsy uh, and slow. Uh, when you're trying to get all four fingers down all the time and then do ups in between, um, I find that to be very laborsome. And so I like to do uh, the chink because it's so much quicker. And you can get this going blazingly fast. And it's really not that much effort. It sounds fast, it sounds like a lot of effort, but it's just, you know. Right, okay. And so you just wanna get that practice down so that you can do this. Another song that this works really well on, if you like the Beatles, is Obla Di Obla Da. You know, so. Life goes on, Brah! right? Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, that this is a really great one for that, and it kind of gives you that umpa sound, right? So umpa, 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 right? And um, really, actually, is quite effective in a number of songs. Uh, so it's worth learning. Uh, so learn your chink, and then just pair it with an up, and you're good to go for that one. Um, so that is uh, Who Did Swallow Jonah? And next time we will be tackling our last F and C7 song, which is um, A Wise Old Owl, right? And so uh, I'm looking forward to that. And then we'll be moving on to C and G7 songs uh, for the remainder of the songs in this course. Uh, I might throw in a bonus uh, one chord song there at the end that uses a different chord. Uh, we'll see. And uh, so there you go. Uh, 
I hope you had fun with this. I hope you have a great day. Uh, keep practicing, uh, Yukon, and we'll see you next time.